Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the PayPal Commerce add-on. The PayPal Commerce add-on will now allow you to receive both PayPal and credit card payments from customers, supports one-time payments as well as subscription payments, supports the Pay with PayPal button, and more. Before we begin, you'll need to make sure that you have a PayPal business account first in order to connect your site to PayPal Commerce. With that said, let's get right to it. After logging in and installing the WP Forms plugin, you'll first want to install and activate the PayPal Commerce add-on. You can do that by going to WP Forms, Add-on, and finding the PayPal Commerce add-on. Click Install Add-on and wait for the status to change to active. Once the status has changed, Click on the Settings tab on the left under WP Forms, and then click on the Payments tab. On this page, you'll see any currently active payment add-ons. Find the PayPal Commerce section to find a button labeled Connect with PayPal Commerce. Below that, you'll see a Test Mode checkbox. If you'd like to test your connection to PayPal Commerce before beginning to take live payments, be sure to check this box before clicking the Connect with PayPal Commerce button. You can find a link to our comprehensive guide to testing payments with PayPal Commerce in the video description below. For now, however, let's assume we're ready to accept live payments, so click on the Connect with PayPal Commerce button. A pop-up will then appear where you'll enter the email address associated with your PayPal business account, and you can select your country or region from the available drop-down list. Afterwards, click Next. In the next screen, enter your PayPal business account login information, and click on the Login button to connect your account to your site. Now that the setup is complete, we can head into the Form Builder to integrate PayPal Commerce directly into our forms. In the Form Builder, scroll down the list of available fields on the left to find the PayPal Commerce field and click and drag it into your form. A pop-up will appear telling you to enable PayPal Commerce payments, but for now, click on the OK button to close it, and let's first go through the field settings. Click on the PayPal Commerce field to open its settings, starting with the General tab. Like all other fields, you can customize the label and description. Below these options, you'll see the field Supported Payment Methods, where you can decide if you'd like for this field to accept either PayPal payments, credit card payments, or both. Below this setting, you'll also be able to select which payment method will be used by default, either PayPal or credit card. The PayPal Commerce add-on also allows you to enable or disable specific supported credit cards, as shown here. You can click on the toggle to turn these options on or off, which you'll see reflected in the field itself. Any credit cards that are disabled here will not be accepted as a valid form of payment in your form. You'll also be able to customize the placeholder text for each of the credit card subfields, like the card number, expiration date, and so on. You can also turn the card holder name field on or off. Below this, you'll be able to make the PayPal Commerce field required or not, depending on your needs. In the Advanced tab for this field, you can customize the field size, the PayPal button size, shape and color, and add any CSS classes you'd like if you want to customize this further. In the Smart Logic tab, you can choose to apply our Smart Conditional Logic to this field if you only want it to appear if certain conditions have been met by the user, such as checking a particular box or filling in a particular field. Now that the PayPal Commerce field has been customized, click on the Payments tab on the left side to enable PayPal Commerce payments. Click on the PayPal Commerce tab to view the add-on settings. Here you'll see two options, one-time payments and recurring payments. Click on the Enable One-Time Payments toggle to view this option settings. In these drop-downs, you're going to map these fields to their corresponding fields in your form. So you'll select the form's name field from the name drop-down, select the form's email field from the email drop-down, and so on. You can also add in a payment description if you'd like. And you can also apply our smart conditional logic to this particular payment. Next up is the recurring payment option. This is where you'll be able to configure this form to accept recurring payments for things like subscriptions, donations, and more. Your form can have as many plans as you'd like, but only one can be processed at a time, and users will need to pay via PayPal, not the credit card field. You can add a name for this recurring payment plan, and then select the product type, either digital, physical, or service. In the next field, 
you can select how often you would like the charge to recur, whether it be weekly, monthly, and so on. In the Total Cycles field, you can select how long the subscription will last by choosing a maximum number of payment cycles. For example, if you select 5 from this dropdown, then there will be a total of 5 recurring payments for this plan. If you select Infinite, then the recurring payments will go on indefinitely. Below these fields will be additional options you can enable or disable. You can choose to try to bill the customer again if the payment fails on the first attempt, and finally, you can add smart conditional logic to this payment option. When you're done, save your changes. Once users begin submitting payments along with your form, you can log into your PayPal business account to see your newly submitted transactions. On your WordPress site, you'll be able to find your completed payment transactions in the Entries page of WP Forms along with the form entry information. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to use the PayPal Commerce add-on by WP Forms. If you have any questions or concerns, be sure to visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. If you need any extra technical help, please visit our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.